Hi everyone. Today we are going to look at the artist Katherine Rayner. She is an author, illustrator, and designer of children's clothing. She makes all of her own illustrations for her books and she has several children's books. Today I was inspired by Harris Finds His Feet, a story about a rabbit and his grandfather. Let's get started. For today's project, we are going to use an oil pastel and wet on wet watercolor technique. You can see how the colors blend together and they almost look like a tie dye within the actual image. And how we do that is using watercolor paper. We're also going to need a pencil and a black oil pastel. Let's get started on drawing the rabbit. Starting in the center of your page, we need to make a small frowny face. So first you need to find how much room you have on the top and the bottom. Let's find the middle. And let's make a small frowny face. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we need to decide if we're going to make the ears going up or if we're going to make them flop downwards. So to start with, I'm going to go ahead and make one of the ears starting to go up. So I'm going to make a wavy line going up and bring the wavy line back down and connect it. On the other side, I'm going to take the ear and I'm gonna have it go off the page. That's gonna give it a look of a very floppy bunny ear or rabbit ear. And bring that line back. Now the face of this rabbit is kind of pear shaped. So we need to take the two ends of the ears and visualize what the face would look like if it were a pear. So we're gonna bring the line going down, out at the bottom, and then back up. And now you can see almost a pear shape out of that. Next, we're going to want to draw the eyes. Now these are big, very cartoon-like eyes. So we're gonna make one big half circle here, connect it to the side of the face, and a smaller circle inside. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. And I'm actually gonna make the eye looking a little bit lower this time very cartoon-like. Now to make the, the nose of the rabbit, we're gonna make a larger frowny face like this. But he also has these really cute cheeks. And instead of just drawing a straight line, we're going to make a curved line and then another curved line on the other side. And that's gonna give us a nose and a little bit of a mouth down there. Perfect. Now you have to decide if you're going to make a skinny rabbit or a little bit of a chunky rabbit. So we're gonna visualize making two lines coming down and off the page. So I'm gonna make a wavy line coming down like this and a wavy line like that. The next step is we need to make the inner ear. This is where we're going to make a line that goes up close to the first original line that we made for the ear, and another line that comes back down. That's going to allow us to have a space to add a little bit of pink to the ear. We're gonna do the same to the other side, and I think I'm gonna leave off the bottom line just to give it a little bit of a tilted ear illusion. There you have it, we just drew our first rabbit. So the next thing we need to do is take our oil pastel and trace all of our pencil lines.
Now let's go ahead and give our rabbit some whiskers. I'm gonna add three whiskers to each side of his cheeks, and I'm gonna make him look a little bit scraggly. It's gonna make him look so cute. Now we're all set to paint our rabbit. So let's take a look at the example. In this example, you can see this really interesting watercolor tie-dye look. And the way that we do that is through a wet-on-wet -wet technique. What that means is we paint the paper in certain areas with just water, and then we add the watercolor to it. Next, we're going to need two watercolor brushes. One is a medium-sized one, and one will be a small one for those tiny areas around the ears. And you're going to notice that I'm using two cups of water. One is to wash off my brushes, and the other is to actually add the water to the watercolor paper for the wet-on-wet -wet technique. Then we're going to need a paper towel, and you're going to see that I'm using a liquid watercolor set. You can use a regular watercolor palette. I just happen to like the colors of the liquid watercolors. To do a wet-on-wet -wet watercolor technique, we need to paint the area that we want to start with with just water on our brush, nothing else. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to stay within the lines. Already using the oil pastel, it will help us stay within the lines of our watercolors so they don't mix together. But as you can see, right now I'm just taking the paintbrush, I added some water to it, and I'm painting this entire section. Just enough to make the paper look a little bit glossy. So I'm being very careful to stay within the lines as if I was coloring in a coloring book. And I'm just painting with water. Now that we've wet one section of the rabbit, we're gonna to start to go into our watercolors. Now again, I'm using liquid watercolors, which are gonna make it very easy for the wet on wet technique. But if you're using a regular palette, you'll need to add a little bit of water to your paints before you actually start touching the area that we're painting. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this brown and just touch along the edge and watch as the paint just flows towards the center of the rabbit because with the wet on wet technique, the wet ink or the wet uh, pigment wants to follow where the water has already been. So as I'm touching the areas that are closest to the oil pastel, the other areas are starting to mesh together and give it a beautiful look. So I'm just filling in this area as if I was coloring in a coloring book, but I'm doing it with watercolors. I can even go into other colors like reds or yellows or even oranges to change up the color of brown and it's going to give it this beautiful tie-dye look on the rabbit. Once you're finished with that section, we're going to go ahead and rinse off our brush and begin to start adding water to the other sections of the rabbit. We're going to continue this process of adding the brown and the reds and the yellows or whatever colors you choose to make your rabbit in each of the sections and then we're going to do the background.
for this section of his ears, I'm going to add a little bit of red just to make this area look a little bit pink like the inside of a rabbit ear. There, our rabbit is done. Now we need to work on the background. So we need to go ahead and get our water again and dip our paintbrush in there. And what we're going to do is start painting the background with just the clean water. Remember, we're looking for that tie-dye effect and a nice blend of colors. And to do that, we need to section it off by wetting an area and then adding our color. And there you have it, a beautiful wet-on-wet -wet watercolor technique and oil-resist painting of a rabbit. Isn't it beautiful? Hopefully you get a chance to take a look at my other YouTube videos and lessons. Have a great day!